All right guys, so it's 1 p.m. I'm still fasting. I'm about to break my fasting window. And of course we are gonna be making some chicken parm. Not only just a chicken parm, the fastest chicken parm you've ever made. I'm about to show you how to do that. Before I break my fast, I always take my supplements. Um, this is a supplement that has to be taken on an empty stomach, which is my probiotic and prebiotic by Seed. Now you guys always ask me questions about the probiotic and prebiotic I take. Um, they are usually sold out. I know they are in stock right now, so don't worry. I'll leave these linked in the description below for you. I do have a discount code, which is low carb love. It gets you 15% off. Now, if you guys are having any gut issues, suffering from like bloating after you eat, digest issues um, these are a great place to start um, I was suffering from a lot of inflammation like literally bloated every time I ate dairy gluten um, a lot of just different foods would cause me a lot of um, bloating and inflammation and that has really really helped me tremendously like I'm talking about like just on another level I didn't think that like a supplement could actually help that much so these are a one-of-a-kind there's actually a capsule within a capsule that actually makes it all the way down into our colon and feeds all the little gut bacteria down there because I don't know if you know this but 70% of our immune system lives in our gut so that's why it's so important for us to really really concentrate on like the ingredients that we're using it's not even about like weight loss sure like a lot of us always focus on that but the reality is that the health of our gut is so important because there are so many different things stem from that so long story short if you don't have a probiotic and prebiotic that you're absolutely obsessed with or you just haven't done the research I'm telling you these are amazing but cheersies I'm gonna do two you just need to do two on an empty stomach and you're good okay so now we're gonna start cooking and I'm gonna break my fast. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started on our chicken. The first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is pat dry our chicken. I know some of you wash your chicken, some of you don't. Don't judge me, I do. But now what we're gonna do is pat dry it. So I just wanna make sure that it is pat dried. Now that our chicken breasts are pat dried, we're gonna go ahead and butterfly them. Now, I think it's really crucial for us to do this because since we are gonna be frying our chicken, you wanna make sure that it just cooks evenly and just thoroughly. So now, and if you have like a little mallet, you can also do that. Um, I'm just gonna butterfly it because I feel like I have a little more control. Okay, now these are butterfly. They look really beautiful. Take a look. Yes. Uh, so you can either cut them to make two, but I really like the size of them. I think it's gonna look really pretty and like big. So I'm just gonna leave them as so. So I'm only doing three huge ones, but this recipe is for six, okay? Now for the breading, of course, we're going with our low carb breading. It's just an equal amount of parm and protein powder. So we're just gonna throw those right into our bowl. Now, of course we want that flavor. We need seasoning. So we have pepper, our onion powder, garlic powder, and a pinch of salt since we are using Parmesan cheese. So we're gonna give this a good mix. And this is probably what takes the longest in terms of like, you know, just getting your ingredients together. Because after this, we just have to bread and fry. We have chicken, we have our breading, and now our egg. And this is just for our egg wash. Just gonna whisk this up really quickly. Okay, and now we're gonna season our chicken before we start breading. Just a little salt and pepper. Both sides. So we start off by dipping it into our egg and now just transfer it onto our protein. Okay, so I'm just using a spoon to kind of help me coat everything because mine are super, super big. Um, and I don't want to get the tongs like all sticky because I'm going to use it for the rest of them. And put it onto our clean plate. So I'm going to do that for the rest and then we'll move on to the stove. Okay, and now we're just going to pour a little bit of our oil into the pan. We're doing a shallow fry, so we're only going to do about an inch deep. And now we're going to fry for about three minutes on each side. Okay, so while our chicken is cooking, I'm actually gonna get started with our sauce. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a flip. Get that gorgeousness. Yes, perfect. 
Okay, and we are adding a little water just because it's thick. It's, it's a great consistency, but I just like mine to be a little thinner because since it is still gonna cook, um, I don't want it to be too thick. So I'm just adding a tiny bit of water. So you just wanna make sure that you cook it on a low heat just so that it doesn't burn. Ooh, look at that color. Guys, nice golden brown. This is completely ready. So we're gonna place it onto our, just some napkins. I'm gonna finish cooking everything else and then I'm gonna show you the next step. You can leave your sauce just straight out of the jar, but I do have all my seasonings on hand. So I'm gonna add a little bit of oregano some garlic powder. A little onion powder. Okay, so you always wanna give your sauce a taste. I did, and mine actually does need a little sweetener. So I'm just adding a little teaspoon. It's really gonna balance out the acidity and um, yeah, it's gonna just taste like, a, it's just gonna give it like a neutral taste. It's not gonna be sweet or acidic. And that's what you're looking for. Okay, so we have our chicken. We're gonna place this on our plate. Now you can obviously add your chicken straight onto your sauce, but I just want it to look a little more aesthetically pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and add it right over our chicken. Now we're gonna place some cheese and we're gonna garnish it with a little basil. So, moment of truth. It's literally taken about 15 minutes so far and I'm really happy with the outcome now for the taste. Nice juicy chicken, saucy and cheesy. Mmm, mmm, I love the crust. It's a very light crust, perfect coating. So the chicken is super juicy. That time to cook it is perfect. Now the sauce, of course, you already know it's unsweetened. I did kind of spice it up, I doctored it up. I love doing that to all my sauces. I think it really just takes them to the next level and makes them taste more homemade. But guys, overall, a 15 minute dinner, you can whip this up for the family, serve it with a little Colleen mash, or if your family's not low carb, a little mashed potato and side salad, and you're set. Like. This is a great dinner, super, super quick and absolutely delicious. I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to share these recipes in my channel with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or just looking for healthier alternatives to their favorite foods. Thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you guys on my next video. Mwah. Now I'm gonna go and enjoy my lunch.